Well, if you're a legacy pass holder, you've probably noticed a while back that your, your annual pass has fallen off your Disneyland app. And I don't know, this, this kind of triggered me a little bit <laughs> when it happened because uh, I, don't, I don't like not having my annual pass on my app. Even if I don't have an annual pass at all, I, I still like seeing it there. Especially if you're like me and you've lost your physical annual pass and that was your only sign that you are an annual pass holder. But we're still legacy pass holders, right? And we, we want to take advantage of those legacy pass holder discounts. You know, uh, brief as they may be, limited as they may be, it's still something. Well, there's good news as it turns out, uh, if you're like me and you, you, you miss having some sort of indication on your app that you have an annual pass. Recently, Disney has sent ticket codes via email that you can use to restore, to put your annual pass, your legacy pass, back on the app. Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I would recommend checking your emails for something, two emails actually, from Disney Destinations, at least two. There should be one email telling you that there are changes coming for how to use the Legacy Pass Holder discount, and then another email with the actual ticket code that you use to, to reinstate it back on the app. Now in that first email, Disney's simply preparing you for the two different ways that you can get your, uh, your annual pass, your Legacy Pass, updated on the app. For example, if you had already linked your annual pass in the app, uh, then the new legacy discount ticket would automatically appear. Great news for some of you, <laughs> but I did have my annual pass linked previously, and yet I still didn't get the legacy pass updated. It's gone. There's nothing there right now. But they do have that second option, and that is if you did not have your AP linked in the app. And in this case, Disney sends you that second email with your ticket code. And then in that email, you get you know, directions on how to activate the code. It's, and it's really super simple. And this is what I had to do. You know, I had to use this second option, the code option, even though my pass was previously linked. So one way or the other, you can do this. Just follow these steps. Launch the app. Uh, well, actually download, install the app if you don't have it already, then launch the app. Then go to Tickets and Passes. Click Link Tickets. And then enter the code that you get in the email. And voila, your app is updated. Okay, a couple things. It is taking them forever to get all these emails sent, to get all these codes sent to uh, legacy pass holders. Uh, it's taking them long enough where some people still haven't received their codes. I just got mine after like, I don't know, 10 days or whatever. If this is you, if this is your situation, or if you're not sure, worry not. You can still uh, get that discount uh, just Cast members know. They know that they're that Disney is having a problem getting, or I shouldn't say a problem. It's just taking a while to get all these codes sent out. Just flash your, your annual pass uh, and tell them I haven't received my code yet, so I can't, you know, put it on my on my a, or on my app. They will honor that discount. Now, if you've lost your actual AP like I have, I lost my my annual pass, so I didn't have any proof that I was an annual pass holder. So this whole thing, getting it onto the app, has been a great relief to me. Uh, I can now go back to getting a discount at World of Disney where I couldn't previously for a little while. But be prepared to show your ID. Uh, they're gonna require this. It says in the email, when you get the ticket code, they're gonna require that you have either, either your annual pass or your a valid driver's license to verify that you are the owner of the, of the discount that's on your app. Okay, uh, the pass will show an expiration date of April 30th, 2021. Now, Disney did note though, that if for some reason these benefits are extended, your expiration date will automatically be updated in the app. I would assume they mean if for some reason the parks don't open on April 30th because those dates do coincide. So if the park doesn't open on April 30th, then they're going to extend uh, the, the legacy pass holder discount benefit for however long the parks aren't open, which is actually a curious thought. <clears throat> I would think that they would keep the benefit. What? That's food for thought. We should be still, well, I shouldn't say should, is this to suggest that there will be no legacy pass holder benefits after April 30th? If the parks do open? Question mark? <laughs> I had thought about that. I had assumed that the legacy pass holder benefits and discounts, et cetera, would be active after the parks open as well. Why wouldn't they? Good question. Uh, okay, well, anyway, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll look into that further and, and update you guys as we learn anything. And then we'll wrap up by saying, if you are having any difficulty with this, uh, be that, you know, if it doesn't show up on your app automatically, if you had a previously linked AP, 
or if you haven't gotten the email yet that has your ticket code, uh, again, worry not. Contact Disney directly. They'll help you out. I did the same. You can either call their phone number at 714-781-4567 or use uh, the new chat feature in the app and simply ask for help. That chat feature is really handy. It's new. They were just about ready to launch this when we were going to open, reopen the parks back in July last year. Uh, it's new since then, and we haven't really had a chance to use it until now. But that chat feature is very helpful because if you've ever been on hold <laughs> with Disney for, with, you know, for an AP question or something like that, it can, be t it can take a while. I I've heard people waiting for hours. Having said that, they're not exactly Johnny on the spot on the chat either. I mean, the initial question that I posted was, was answered fairly quickly, but follow-ups took, uh, took a while. It was sometimes the next day or even two days. But they are still, it's always, you will get an answer at some point, but it's not the quickest thing. Or it can be slow at times, depending on how busy they are. Anyway, that's it. Just a quick little update for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions, ask. I'll try to help you out if I can. But generally, you're, you're best off going directly to Disney using that phone number that I gave you or, or using the chat feature. Uh, but let us know in the comments below. And I hope you guys get your APs straightened out, your legacy APs, and get to use that 30% discount in the parks very soon, hopefully on April 30th and forward. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Be safe out there. Be kind to one another. And fresh baked.